hi guys in this video uh, we will do the analysis of this signboard it's a construction construction sideboard it's something like that you saw this signboard on the uh, construction site okay so today we will do the analysis of this signboard to apply the wind load on these faces so let's start let me show you the model how I have created this is the frame uh, all made by the pipes the main frame outer main main uh, main frame is made by 3 inch pipe schedule 40 it's a weldment feature I have used and the all internal angles the cross cross angles I have made 40 by 44 millimeter thickness okay as you can see here so this is the overall dimensions of this frame all right and here in front i put some plates like a panels with four millimeter thickness Four millimeter thickness. The normal material I have used S two thirty five JR. The same material thickness we have used here. So let's start the wind analysis on this. So first of all, what we will do, we have to find the area for this all face. How much area we have on this face? According to the area, we will apply the force on the edge faces. So let's check the face area. Uh, we have approximately 2.23 meter square. So according to this area, we have to find out the force, how much force we have to apply it on each faces. So, so how to find the force of the wind? So you can just type here in this website engineering toolbox let's click on this first link here you can see wind load calculator so we keep the same wind speed a hurricane wind speed 35 meter per second right on acting on a 10 meter square wall the dynamic force can be calculated as this is the formula but here we already have the calculator so we just need to add here our area so what is the area we have here we have 2.23 meter square Two point two three meters square. This is the uh, same panels, the same size. So we just type here two point two three area meter square. Calculate, and here we will get our wind load, the wind force, one thousand six hundred thirty nine. Okay, so new study, wind load, okay. just delete the cut list. This body is too short. I think it will not exclude, it will be excluded from the analysis. Anyway, let's see what will happen. Okay, 
fixed the geometry select these four joints the bottom joints okay now just add a gravity even you add or no add it doesn't matter Ap apply the force select this face and we got 1639 newton wind force here 1639 okay so we need to apply this force on each surface up to here on three faces okay so our three forces applied the same forces on each faces now we have to find out the area of this face we have the area for this face 3.29 meters here the same 3.29 calculate okay so here we got the wind load force 2418 newton so just add one more force select this face and apply this uh, load 2418 okay <coughs> so everything looks okay Great mesh curvature make it fine mesh okay so our mesh created now run the study Okay. okay so let's see the result okay on the plates the panels we got the maximum uh, stress 86 megapascals delete this sprain now just check the displacement 11 millimeter approximately I think yeah okay Okay, so we got the maximum displacement 11.46 millimeter in this middle areas. So we can still improve this area to just uh, increase the cross section size, angle size. Okay, and now let's add one more stress for the beam. Right click on results, define stress plot. Okay, click beam. Select MPS. Floating. Okay. Yeah, we got the uh, 174 stresses on these two joints.
corners okay so so now you can see we got the 86 megapascal for the plates and for the beams we got 174 we can still improve this one to increase the size of the pipe or angles all right so let's see the factor of safety Uh, we got 1.3 factor of safety double click here on this chart uncheck this and type 100 uncheck this type 1 so we need to see the range from 1 to 100 this chart okay so here is our factor of safety so our panel plates are safe it's fine but we need to improve our uh, this frame pipe frame all right guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this tutorial thank you